Here it is. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. 92 billion transistors, 4,000 tops, four petaflops of AI, three times higher than the last generation ADA. And we need all of it to generate those pixels that I showed you. Okay, so 50, 70, 40, 90 performance, $549, and here's the whole family. So can you imagine? You get this incredible graphics card here, Blackwell. We're going to shrink it and put it, in, put it in there. Does that make any sense? Well, you can't do that without artificial intelligence. And the reason for that is because we're generating most of the pixels using, pixels using our tensor cores. So we ray trace only the pixels we need, and we generate using artificial intelligence all of the other pixels we have. As a result, the amount of the energy efficiency is just off the charts. The AV revolution has arrived. After so many years with Waymo's success and Tesla's success, it is very, very clear autonomous vehicles has finally arrived. Well, our offering to this industry is the three computers, the training systems to train the AIs, the simulation systems, and, and, the, and the synthetic data generation systems, Omniverse, and now Cosmos, and also the computer that's inside the car. Each car company might, might work with us in a different way, use one or two or three of the computers. We're working with just about every major car company around the world. Building safe autonomous vehicles means addressing edge scenarios, but real world data is limited. So synthetic data is essential for training. The Autonomous Vehicle Data Factory, powered by NVIDIA Omniverse, AI models, and Cosmos generates synthetic driving scenarios that enhance training data by orders of magnitude. Humanoid robots. My friends. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see very rapid breakthroughs, surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. It's an omniverse to synthetically generate millions. The age of general robotics is arriving, powered by NVIDIA Isaac Groot. This is now the new way of doing computing. This is the new way of doing software. Every software engineer, every engineer, every creative artist, everybody who uses computers today as a tool will need an AI supercomputer. And so I just wish, I just wish that DGX1 was smaller. And, um, you know, so, so um, you know, imagine Ladies and gentlemen, our... This is NVIDIA's latest AI supercomputer. And, and it's finally called Project Digits right now. Imagine this is what it looks like. You know, who doesn't want one of those? And uh, if, you, uh, if you use PC, Mac, you know, anything. Because, because uh, you know, it's, it's a cloud platform. It's a cloud computing platform that sits on your desk. You could also use it as a Linux workstation if you like. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me tell you what I told you. I told you that we are in production with three new Blackwells. Not only is the Grace Blackwell supercomputers, NVLink 72s, in production all over the world, we now have three new Blackwell systems in production. One amazing AI, foundational, world foundation model, 
The world's first physical AI foundation model is open, available to activate the world's industries of robotics and such. And three, and three robotics, three robots working on uh, agentic AI, uh, human or robots, and self-driving cars.